guys in good morning welcome back to another vlog happy thursday to everybody i was about to say monday for some odd reason but <clears throat> today is not monday today is thursday and yeah we are almost at the end of the week so excited for that Oh, I got my bagel in my bag. I always forget. So, lately, oh my goodness, this breakfast sandwich at work has been having me in a chokehold when I tell you. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So good. So, you know. There was a few times where <coughs> I had ordered like an omelet. And one day I went to go to get the omelet, but the guy wasn't there. So I was like, damn, I'm really hungry because I plan on getting an omelet. What am I gonna do? <coughs> They have like this little thing that you can order through, like a little kiosk or whatever. And so I had went over there and I was like, what do they have? Because I never used it before. And I saw that you can like order a breakfast sandwich, like order your own um, or build your own breakfast sandwich, something like that. Y'all, I had did that <laughs> and I put it on um, I put my breakfast sandwich on a bagel. You swear you going somewhere. You're not going nowhere. <laughs> like, steady trying to beat the traffic and you're not going nowhere. But, listen. Ever since that one time where I got that breakfast sandwich, oh my gosh. It was so good. So freaking good like it's literally had me in a chokehold ever since like it's so good but I'm like yo I, I can't I can't keep doing this I can't keep doing it it's so good though so um I'm not gonna order one today I made my bagel and I know my bagel isn't gonna like hold me over as long as the breakfast sandwich would. So I bought um, like a half a pack of Ritz crackers just to snack on. I bought like a, um, what do you call it? A, not a breakfast bar, what do you call it? A, a, um, it's like a granola bar, but it's, it, it's, it's, it's a type of bar, but it's not a granola bar. I bought that to snack on and I'm also gonna um, have some coffee this morning I usually do that every morning but since I've been sick um, and especially after we came from our um, weekend trip I was not doing coffee I was not doing coffee because my stomach what, did I even tell y'all I think I did I mean I know I was vlogging when I was on a trip but did I tell y'all like how bad I felt like I was really down and out like seriously I was really down and out like my stomach my stomach was so messed up like oh my god my stomach was so messed up so because coffee i'm all itching my hair my hair itch i really need to take these braids out but i don't want to yet i just kind of want to do them over because i like the style it's easy i don't have to do nothing to my hair in the morning and that's the goal but yeah you know how coffee is like known to make you go to the bathroom so on top of how my stomach was feeling already I was like hell no I'm not drinking coffee at work so I'm finally feeling better I felt better um I really felt better 
Monday afternoon, like, um, I, I laid in the bed Monday, but I finally got up around like one in the afternoon, took myself a shower, got myself back together, and then I was feeling okay enough to like get out the bed. Um, and then I would say like once Tuesday came, I was finally like back into the swing of things, but I was down bad. And if I was already telling y'all I'll just cut this part out I know I had said it to my mom but I have never been sick so much in my life like I don't know what it was about this season here like uh like December going into the new year up until now and it's March I don't know what the hell was in the air but it was something something was definitely going around it was too many germs it was just i've never been sick so much anyway i got totally off topic so way off topic and i always do that but yeah so i had made a bagel today so that's what i'm gonna eat for breakfast along with the coffee and that's just gonna have to hold me over until I eat lunch, but um, the whole reason why I didn't, why I decided to not buy the breakfast sandwich this morning was because I also noticed that <coughs> they make um, subs. Like I, you know, obviously they got a whole thing going on, calf, calf whatever. But I never tried the um, the lunch from there. But yeah, I had peeped that they made subs. And if you know, you know. I loves me a good sub, okay? Italian sub to be exact, mm-hmm, yup. So anyway, I'm gonna try, um, that, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna order a sub today, an Italian sub and hopefully is just everything that i'm expecting hopefully it's everything that i'm wishing for <laughs> i'm really excited to eat it on the trip he came and knocked me off my place. Face. I don't know. This boy, you came around and you knocked me down. So I'm back. I am off of work. God, I need to oil my scalp, honey. <sighs> Excuse me. My scalp is so dry. There go that damn number, 911. It follows me everywhere. Like, I know it means something. I know, I know, I know, I know it means something. I I see it. Like every time I look at the clock, every time I ch I mean not not every time, because you know that's just being extreme. But mm, mm, mm. 98% of the time when I'm not intentionally checking what time it is and I, and I just happen to like look at the clock, it's 9-11. I'm looking at this, lace, this license plate in front of me. It says 99-11. And this has been going on, I remember specifically since my um, freshman year of college, so this has been going on for damn no way damn this has been going on for nine years wow wow yeah but anyway um i recorded just a quick second of when i was eating my lunch today so 
I did go and get the sub and it was good. I can't even, I don't really have, I have one complaint though. Or I don't even know if I would complain about it. My battery is about to go dead. But I just thought that it would be a little bit more bigger than what it was. Like I would have appreciated it a little bit more if it was a little bit bigger. Other than that, the sub was good. The taste was good. It was yummy. Um, my battery is about to go dead and I don't want to talk to y'all too much in the car anyway because the last clip was just in the car. So um, I'm just heating up my car just a little bit so I can pull off, go home. And then um, hopefully I remember to pick up the camera when I get home. Tonight I'm going to make something quick and easy, some spaghetti. So I actually had Rock because he's getting off pretty late himself. But I just had him um, go. I'm going to have him go to the store and pick up the ingredients so i can make him when i get home because i could have went when i got off but i figured it wasn't gonna work because he has to get to practice so i'm gonna just have him <clears throat> run by shop right pick it up and i'll make that for dinner with some garlic bread um i could have made a salad on the side but i ain't gonna do all that um all right so i'll talk to y'all later Let me tell you about this girl, maybe I should I met her in Philly, and her name was Brown Sugar See, we be making love constantly, that's why my eyes are a shade Blood burgundy, the way that we kiss is unlike any other way That I be kissing when I'm kissing what I'm missing, won't you listen? Brown Sugar, babe, I guess high off your love, I don't know how to be Brown Hey you guys, we got this situation going on down here. Don't even mind it, I just be breaking out on my chin. I, I think the chin breakouts are hormonal. So, yeah. Anyway, hi there, Ellen. Hi there, sweet mommies. Hi there, then, mommies. What you doing? What you doing? What are you doing? Say hi, everybody. She's sitting here playing with this paper bag trying to keep her entertained but real quick before Ilani gets in a room and she'll probably be in the room soon because Rock was giving her a bath um I'm starting off the vlog way late in the day 
um, throughout the day I was like, let me pick up the camera, let me pick up the camera, let me pick up the camera, and just never got around to it. It's been a busy day. When I work from home, I really do a lot, and I get a lot done. That's why I'm just so thankful that, you know, I have the schedule that I have. Um, I get a lot of, a lot of stuff done, so it was another productive day today, which is good. Um, I cooked dinner. I'll insert a picture right here because I did remember to take a picture for y'all to show y'all the food was busted. Okay. I even went back to get seconds, but I only got like a little bit more chicken and just a little bit more rice, but it was really good. So this was my version of Jamaican rice and beans. Um, the only thing that I didn't use that the recipe called for was coconut milk. We didn't have coconut milk and child, we didn't even have regular milk. So I just cooked it without it. Um, it still came out pretty good. So for my first time making it, um, did I say it was rice and beans, Jamaican rice and beans, but I think they actually call it rice and peas. But um, for my first time making it, I was very impressed and I was proud of myself. I did a good job. It came out really good, so tasteful. Um, I cooked, it was supposed to be jerk chicken, but I really don't have the correct, um, I don't have like that jerk sauce. I have quote unquote jerk seasonings, it's really Cajun seasonings, but I need the jerk sauce for real. Like that's, that's what's gonna make it jerk. Um, but I let it cook literally all day in a crock pot. When I tell y'all it was falling off the bone, baby, it was falling off the bone. It was so good. And then I just made a side of broccoli. Um, I feel like the broccoli didn't really go with the themed meal, but it is what it is. So dinner came out really, really good. And yeah, so I took a trip to Walmart earlier just to get a few things. I took it um, when I went on break. So I'm gonna give you all a little clothing haul. I Mind you, I literally did not go into Walmart for clothes, I didn't. But I went to the baby section first for whatever reason. I don't know why I did that. But then I saw one shirt, then I saw something else, and I was like, ooh, that's really cute. And I just, I'ma just show y'all. So here's the first little outfit right here. I'm not gonna like unfold it and stuff, but it is like that ribbed material. And these are leggings. And this is what it looks like at the end. So it's like, it's cream or ivory, whatever you wanna say. And then I got the matching shirt that goes with it. Super cute. And then they had these right here. These are biker shorts, y'all. But I had picked these up because, you know, they go with this. So she could wear this shirt with the pants and she can also wear the shirt with the biker shorts as well. And then I literally got the same outfit, but in this um, pink color. I was gonna say peach, but it's not really peach. So I got it in this pink color right here. And then I had picked up these shorts for her as well. All of this is for Ilani, by the way, obviously. So I picked up these shorts. I feel like she'll, it's a good fit by the time it gets hot outside so you know of course she can wear this shirt with these shorts or i'm looking at it now she can even wear this shirt with the shorts because it has both colors in it so super cute and then i had got her these shorts right here do they got pockets no i got her these shorts right here and then i got this purple tank top to go with the shorts and i've always been the type to be like i don't i really can't stand when people dress their kids as twins when they're not twins but i get it it's easy and they did have these shorts in both of their sizes so i did go ahead and get it and i thought that would be really cute and i got aaron a purple tank top as well so they'll be twins for whatever day that they wear this outfit so that's all Ilani stuff. This is Erin's stuff right here. And then I just got her this tank top with. Um, I think I hear Ilani. She's about to come in the room. 
um but yeah i just wanted to i'm all close and personal i just wanted to hop on here and say what's up to y'all um and let y'all know the day did go by <laughs> and i did not pick up the camera all day but i told y'all before i just be doing one thing after the next like i really i don't know i think it may be me too though at the end of the day like i think i may have a little bit of add or something i don't know like i'm not trying to be funny like a little part of me just can't sit down i think i think that's what it is but i feel like when i try to sit down though when i actually try to sit down and chill and relax it's just still something that i gotta do like today what did i do so i washed them clothes today I washed the girl's clothes, I folded it up, put it away, same night. Who am I? The same night, honey? Who am I? <coughs> I also washed a load of our clothes, just one load. I wish I would have did more, but it is what it is. So I washed clothes. What else did I do? I cooked dinner. What else? I gave the baby a bath today um took that trip to walmart picked some of that stuff up and yeah i mean i worked too so you know it was a very productive day um all right i just wanted to tap in i'm not even going to stay on here for long i just wanted to say hi and i'm trying to call it a night early it's 8 46 so yeah I'm trying to just stay on this schedule here. Ilani has not been going to school. She hasn't been all day last week. And tomorrow, they already called off tomorrow. I don't know if I was telling y'all. Um, Cause I feel like I tell the same story like a thousand times and I just don't remember who I'm talking to, whether it's y'all or whether I'm talking to somebody in person. But um, pretty much it's like a shortage on staff. Um, and i know it's not only here because i watched this lady's vlog and um she lives in atlanta and she literally said the same thing like um her children couldn't go to daycare one day because staff like it ain't it ain't no staff so this uh crisis that we're going through this world crisis because that's what it is yeah so everything all of this stuff is just crazy and like the teachers ain't showing up to work now like hmm teachers ain't showing up to work parents can't take their kids to daycare Parents got to call out of work. Then parents can't make no money to provide. Then people start losing. Like, it's just crazy. Like, it's all, like, everything trickles down. It's a cycle. And it's just, it's just crazy. She need clothes? Why you didn't bring her in here? Oh. No, I mean, she still needed bottle um yeah it's just crazy so it's not like just this area here um it's just crazy but all right y'all um this one needs a bottle pretty soon and it's gonna be time to go night night pretty soon so all right um I think that's it. I think that's all I have for you guys. Ooh, what, what accent was that? I think that's all I have for you guys. <laughs> Alright, so I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Good night.